Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we have a huge skincare haul. I literally ordered so much stuff and I have even more in the mail. So if you guys like this type of video, make sure you comment down below so I can make more of these hauls. I definitely enjoy filming this kind of video and we just get to talk about products really in depth. And if I'm reordering a lot of these products, it means that these are the products that I really, really like. So it's just a fun way. Oh the shimmy. It's just a fun way for you guys to know what I'm currently enjoying. Right before I get in the video, make sure you are subscribed and have my notification bell turned on so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. Also give this video a like and share it with your friends so they can get some of the skincare knowledge. And as I always state, I'm not an esthetician or a dermatologist or any sort of professional. My channel is solely here to educate you guys based on the research I have done. But if you have any questions about your skin, make sure you're a consulting professional. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into this video because this is going to be a long one. <laughs> by the way, this video is ordered by like shop. So if you guys want to buy any of these products, it's easy to like follow along instead of being ordered by like skincare product, if that makes sense. And as always, I have all these products linked down below. They are affiliate links, so it's a really, really easy way for you to support me and my channel. But of course, you're not obligated to use those. I just like providing you with that resource. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Out of all of these boxes, this is the one that I was the most excited for it to arrive. And it's a box from a brand that I've talked so much about, and it's Curology. So far, I've only used their like one bottle, which is their like serum step. And it worked really, really well for me. But I decided to not use it for like the last three months just to take a break from it to try new things. So so I wanted to go back to a brand that I really trust and I'm really excited because I got their oh I got their full routine this time so I'll update you guys on how this works for me but overall it's just cute the packaging and everything is cute and their website is really really good about educating so if you guys want to sign up there's a link of course down below but also if you just want to learn about skincare go on their website and they have like so many blog posts about information and it's just a brand that I really really support so I cannot wait to try this and hopefully it helps my skin because she needs help right now okay I feel like a broken record talking about this brand but the next couple products is my Crave Beauty and I like bulk bought these this is the matcha hemp hydrating cleanser if my skin is irritated or if it's just not feeling good or literally just day to day I love this cleanser and they sell out of things so much so when this came back on stock I was like oh I'm buying so many of these I definitely recommend you guys get this. And then I also got two of their gel moisturizers, which is my favorite moisturizer just because it's so simple and it's only nine ingredients and it has oats, so it's like soothing. And then I actually got like, I think in total like 10 of these and I have one, two, three, four, five here. I literally recommend this to every single person ever. It's their Beach Shield. Um, first of all, the, oh, the packaging, cutest thing ever. And this is my favorite sunscreen out there. It's so lightweight and it makes your skin look so dewy. I really, really like when sunscreens come in this like squeezy tube kind of thing. And it has so many antioxidants. This is definitely my favorite sunscreen and Crave Beauty is just my bae. Next up is the Acne Foaming Cream Cleanser from CeraVe. I have been using their salicylic acid cleanser for a while now, and I just noticed for me that might be a little too much. I have really, really sensitive skin, so I've been trying to cut out basically all exfoliators, and I tried out their benzoyl peroxide cleanser, and I really, really enjoyed it. I think I'm going to continue using this every night paired with my Curology routine. I'm just going to use this one in the morning, but I actually went to a dermatologist, and they said that she does want me to use this one, so I am, whoa, so I am going to continue using this one, and it has ceramides, hyaluronic acid, and niacinamide, which are all amazing. Thing. So I really really enjoyed this one and I still haven't finished mine But I bought like three extras of these because CeraVe is bae. I'm not gonna kiss it because Corona Okay, next up. I have some products from Sephora. First of all, I got the niacinamide from the inky list All niacinamide serums like are sold out everywhere and this is my favorite one because it also has 1% hyaluronic acid So it pulls in moisture from the air and I really really enjoy the texture of this one over the ordinaries I find that one a little bit too sticky for me next up. I have two products from Sephora. Um, it's both from Glow Recipe. It's their Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. I've actually gotten this a while back because they had their sale and this is just a moisturizer I enjoy. I'm going to keep this closed for a while because again I have a lot of other things that I'm trying but this is just a moisturizer I enjoy and it's just cute but I also have their Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. I use this product so much. I either use it as a sleeping mask or I put it on and leave it on for an hour it's so good. A lot of sleeping masks don't do anything for me and, and like some work amazing for some and it works terrible for other people. But this one has alpha hydroxy acid, so AHA, so it's like a good exfoliator, but it's so, so gentle and the watermelon is calming and soothing. And then of course there's hyaluronic acid to hydrate your skin. And this one just smells really good from the watermelon. So it's just an amazing one. And if I wanna like treat myself, I use this one. By the way, a quick disclaimer, I am fully aware that this is a lot of skincare. I literally love trying it, but 
I'm not saying you guys should go out and buy all of this. The only reason I'm getting so much is because my skin really is bad. So it's not just me like being unsustainable and buying everything I see. And now that I'm doing this channel, I really just want to try out the most for you guys. So you guys don't have to. Okay, so the next store is Yes Style. I literally have so much like even coming from them. So I definitely want to make more hauls from them. So if you guys are interested, let me know. And I've never mentioned this in any video, but if you guys want to buy some of these products because their store has so many good products, you can use code Lucas Pedroso for money off your order, which is crazy. And especially for you guys, you get to save money. So like, why not use it? And Yes Style is literally the store I spend the most money at because they have so much Korean skincare. So I buy so much from them because I literally haven't found a website that has as much stuff as them. So here we go. There's a lot. This is the product I repurchased the most. And this time I was just like, okay, I need to stop like getting so much and waiting for shipping. So I literally bought so many. <laughs> you might be asking why. These are pimple patches. I have a lot of pimples. So I go through pimple patches like Tic Tac. Each of these has 24 and I got 10 of the red ones and these come in three sizes So there's large one medium ones and small ones obviously So I use these like every night and a lot of days actually I've been using this throughout the day So I got 240 of these and then 240 like little patches not 240 packs That'd be crazy and then I got 10 of these and there's 18 in each one and it's 180 these are like not clear. No, they're they're definitely clear. They're more transparent because they're thinner. So if you do want to wear them throughout the day, you can pop these on. And I've even put a little concealer on it and it literally disappears. So I'm definitely going to be wearing this to school. Will people be confused? Yes. Is that my problem? Absolutely not. And pimple patches are not only good because they like suck out the oil. They can actually protect your pimples from the outdoors and from you because I know I pick and like scratch at them and having these on keeps me from doing that. If I could like take one skincare product with me for the rest of my life, it'd be either this or sunscreen. On the topic of pimple patches, I got these Acropass Trouble Cures. Um, this is actually my fourth pack, and I really, really enjoy these. These are kind of like zit stickas. This one's a little cheaper than the zit sticka. It's still more expensive than regular pimple patches, but they come in these, and then they come with little cleaning pads, and these have little needles in them, so it like injects it right into the source, and these cleaning pads have like tea tree and all of those fun things to like clean your pimple before, and if you guys have tried out zit sticka and you thought it was a little too expensive for you, I don't definitely recommend these because for me they low-key work the same. Next up I have I'm from Rice Toner. This is the only toner I'll literally ever use. I love this so much and once my skin gets back on check and isn't a mess I'm definitely gonna introduce this back into my routine because it's so hydrating and I definitely do notice a difference with my dark spots because it's literally I think 77.78% rice extract which is insane. I'm from is amazing about formulating with their like main ingredient and from that same brand I got their mugwort mask and mugwort is like really soothing. I've never tried any mugwort products. Saying that is so funny, mugwort. <laughs> mugwort? I don't know. And I also have some of their honey products coming in the mail, so I'm really excited to try a lot from I'm From once my skin is back in check, if I, as I've said like 800 million times. Okay, this product is not in the box because once this got here yesterday, I, no, not yesterday. No, yes, yesterday. I literally ripped it out. I like was zooming through my like, what am I doing? I was like <laughs> digging through the like wave of products and I got the Cosrx Centella Blemish Cream. Every single skincare YouTuber that has a video about acne, in my opinion, has talked about this. So basically this is a really, really concentrated kind of like not spot treatment, but it's not all over the face. It's like an area treatment. This has a lot of Centella, which is really, really soothing and it helps with redness, inflammation, and can help reduce the like appearance of pimples. So I definitely wanted to get this. It also has some tea tree which is antibacterial and is something a lot of people use for pimples. I don't recommend going straight in with tea tree, but of course it's in a formulation, so it's more diluted. And I used this last night over pimples and I did notice a difference. I'm not going to lie. I'm being fully honest and straight up with you guys. The redness definitely went down. So I'm definitely going to be using this a lot. If you watch Hiram, my absolute icon, you've definitely heard him talk about this. This is the unscented, oh, Centella Green Level Sunscreen. I actually, I'm not gonna lie, I've actually already used this today. <laughs> put it back in the box for you guys. And I really, really liked it. Korean sunscreens are so lightweight, so you literally don't feel it. And of course it's unscented, so it's not gonna irritate you unless you have an allergy to any of these products. So make sure you are reading it. But this is a good one and it's just a good sunscreen. 
And this product also has Centella, which we just talked about. It helps get rid of that redness. And some sunscreens can irritate some people. So if you have sensitive skin, I definitely recommend you trying this out because that Centella will help you out. And while talking about soothing products, I got this huge tub of aloe vera from Nature Republic. It does have some fragrance which isn't my favorite. It low-key smells like hair gel. If you're really irritated by fragrances, I wouldn't recommend this, but it's just some good aloe vera. It's literally just aloe vera gel. It's so basic. If I get a burn or something, I put this on there. Not sunburns, because I don't go in the sun because I'm a vampire. And here's a fun life hack. Put this in the fridge. If you get any sort of like sunburn or burn and you put cold aloe vera on, uh, thank me later. Last but not least, I have the Paula's Choice 10% Aslake Acid Booster. Aslake Acid was actually introduced to me, ooh, let me get it, through my Curology. There's Aslake Acid in here, and when I read about it, if anybody ever mentions rosacea, Aslake Acid is brought up. So Aslake Acid is one of those, like, really, really anti-inflammatory, like, ingredients, and again, I've literally said this so many times, but once my skin is, like, at the point where I can try out, like, more things, I definitely want to introduce this into, like, my morning routine because I just really, really enjoy this product. And if you want to try out Aslic Acid, this is my favorite product that includes it. It also has licorice, which is anti-inflammatory, and salicylic acid, which is a BHA. So it goes deep into your pores and just gets rid of all that disgusting oil. I got scared that was gonna hit me. Was that it? Was that it? Mentions 800 products. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I definitely really liked making this video because I feel like we covered so many products and so many brands. Make sure you are subscribed and have my notification bell turned on. Give this video a like, share it with your friends, and comment down below if you want more hauls. Doing all of those things really does help YouTubers if you didn't already know, so make sure you are doing it for all videos. And make sure you follow me on my social media. It's at I'm Lucas Pedroso on literally everything. I post a lot on social media. On Instagram, I'm trying to get my grind back on, but Snapchat, I definitely post a lot of my stories. And on Instagram stories, actually, is where I post the most about like skincare products. So if you want to just keep up with me, speaking of keeping up, I've been watching Keeping Up With The Kardashians and it's low-key good. I'm sorry. If you haven't watched that already, maybe go give it a try. That's besides the point. This is about my social media. And as I mentioned in every video, I do want to post more on TikTok. I made some skincare videos on there and I really, really enjoy the platform. So make sure all of you guys, if you don't already have the app, which is crazy if you don't, literally everybody has TikTok, make sure you do follow me on there to get more content than here on YouTube because it's just faster on there. And I really enjoy the platform. So make sure you are following me on that. And I just want to thank all of you for supporting me and giving these videos likes, subscribing to my channel, and just watching them. It literally means the world every- what was that? <laughs> every time I get a DM or a comment that's like, love the video, you look so good. It literally makes me like cry, but like a good cry. Not actually cry that much. Maybe I do, but I don't think I do. But it literally, I'm just so grateful for every single person that watches my video, so... Let me know if there's something you guys want to see or something that I'm doing wrong. Just tell me because this is about you, not about me. <laughs> so yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!